It's good to be back. Shades of Blue, the explosive final season, premieres on June 17th on NBC. All new Reverie, Wednesday at 10, 9 Central on NBC. Samira was full of energy. Very attractive girl. She had that model look. She did not do anything low key. All of the strange twists this story took. Now you know somebody who has been murdered. It was like nothing I'd ever expect to happen. Inside a gated community, a harrowing discovery. It's a lady laying in the pool. She's completely gone. Yes. I studied the crime scene looking just for does anything stand out. The first focus, her sandal. Tucked right underneath the hose on the edge. It seemed very obvious this was staged. Was there someone who'd wanted Samara out of the way? He observed a black female standing outside of the Frosch's residence. And Mr. Frosch had multiple female acquaintances. They all had a common career and they were exotic dancers. Two critical clues. One chilling plot. We had an unknown DNA on a robe that came off the victim. I literally looked at it for a minute. I was like, seriously? That was absolutely stunning. Behind the curtain was a very dark story. It was a cold morning in February. Cold for Northern Florida, that is. Crisp but sunny when the call came in. Can I get an officer out of here and go to me? It's a lady laying in the pool of, in her backyard in her pool. Made no sense, really. Way too cold for a swim. But the lady wasn't swimming. Wasn't even floating down at the bottom of the pool. She did. She was lying face up. Her palms, too, as if in supplication. Her leopard print robe drifting in the water around her. She, she been in the house, no, she, 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 she completely gone. The house with the backyard pool is located in an exclusive gated community in Tallahassee, Florida, called Golden Eagle. First responders went out there, and pretty soon, Sheriff's Detective Tony Giraldi got a call. Patrol deputies had found a body in a pool, a woman in a pool and we were uh, scrambling our uh, investigative unit. Is that about as much as you knew that, that when you got that first call? It was. You would discover the EMTs had been there by then, tried CPR just in case, given that the water was so cold. I didn't think they knew um, how long she had been in the pool. Yeah. And so um, the thought process was maybe that they could revive her. Yeah, because a person's metabolism slows down sometimes. They look like they're dead, maybe they're not dead. Was there a serious thought that maybe she would survive this? It, it wasn't the case. No. At the hospital, the doctors tried to check her body temperature to determine how long she'd been dead. But she was too cold for the thermometer. No way to calculate how long she'd been in the pool. Of course, by then, they figured out who she was. Samara Frosch. Unusual name. They looked her up online. 